Season two of Family Law on the CW is underway, and I'm so pumped to have Jewel State, who actually plays Abby, here with us now. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh. Well, this is really fun. Listen, people loved last season. They're already super into this season. For those who are maybe late to the game, we won't still want to include them. Give them kind of the premise of the show and, and what they can expect. The premise of the show is about a very dysfunctional family. You know, people are like, oh, so it's a law show. And it's really so much more than that. Abby is this hot mess who was this very successful lawyer and committed a big blunder and has a major issue with alcoholism. And she's trying to figure out how to get her life back on track. So she asks her dad for a job. She hasn't spoken to him in 30 years. And he has two other kids from two other marriages she's never met before. So she has to figure out a lot real quick. She's got to figure out her place in this law firm, how to impress her dad and how to get her life back on track, as well as how to get along with these siblings of hers. So we're here season two. I mean, I'm thinking, okay, we've got the situation with Frank, right? And the, the continued affair. Where do we go from there? Exactly. Where do we go from there? I think this is the first time Abby is realizing that she's not the only bad guy in this marriage. And she's sick of being the bad guy. She's been the bad guy for years. And she's realizing that she hasn't felt loved and appreciated for who she was for a while. And she might just start going down another path and seeing if, if maybe she can find that for herself. And it's also um, a dynamic about this, this recovery of hers and realizing that she's got to stay in it for herself as opposed to anybody else. I want to hear from you what it has been like to play Abby and to, to take on this really intense role. I mean, it's. It's been dreamy for me because all an actor ever wants to do is a little bit of comedy and a little bit of drama every day, right? To feel fulfilled. And I get that with this show. Um, she's a big personality. There's a lot going on with her. There's so many different layers that even I was discovering as we were going on with every script I read. You know, there were little secrets the writers were divulging about Abby's backstory and why she behaves the way she does and um, what she's hiding from, right? Uh, this past of hers. So there's there's a ton of layers, which is so wonderful and so much fun to play. But, you know, she also has no filter, which I adore. <laughs> Everybody wants to be that person in the room, right? Who just tells it like it is. So I get to do that every day, which is pretty sweet. I would love to hear what it's like behind the scenes, just with the rest of the cast, what the vibe is, what the energy is with the rest of the team. Well, you know, we all work very similar to each other. And at the very beginning, I think we all made this commitment to make sure that the tone of our set was a fun one. Yeah. We just want people to leave saying, wow, I had such a good time on that show. And that was all of our collective goal, which was amazing because we achieved it. We have, you know, I think one of the best sets in town. We've got a great reputation for being welcoming and having a lot of fun. You know, we're pros for the most part. <laughs> we know our lines, um, but we laugh a lot and, and we like to have a good time. And um, it, I think it shows, you know, it, it's managed to develop this really natural chemistry that's happened between all of us and these lifelong friendships that we'll always have. And we all also know how lucky we are to be where we are and to be with each other. Um, so it's, it's, it's a blessing, honestly. Gosh, it really sounds like, kind of, yeah, like one of those needle in a haystack type <laughs> situations. It's lightning in a bottle. That's what I call it. It's lightning in a bottle. And, you know, I've been doing this for 35 years and I've done a, a lot of different series. And, you know, sometimes you do get that. You, you get that, that family sort of dynamic. I did a show called Firefly many years ago mm -hmm. and they're still like family to me. We still have our little text thread going and talk to each other all the time. And I know that this one will be like that too. Uh, no matter happens, I just feel like we've, we'll have each other for life. Couple episodes in, are there any like teasers or hints you can give us about what's to come? Well, you know, what I was saying before about Abby finally feeling loved and appreciated, there might be someone who comes along to make her feel that way, we'll say. Ooh. So, yeah, maybe it's time for Abby to have a little fun, maybe get her groove back a little bit. So we might see that a little later. Jewel, you are so talented. You're absolutely incredible. I'm so grateful for the time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So here's the deal, you guys. If you're not already on board, and I know most of you are, it's Fridays at 7, Family Law here on CW33, and we will have all the details, as always, on our website, CW33.com.